All right, so welcome to the second video in the Boom series. Right now we're gonna deep dive into the UI. We're gonna check out some of the presets. We're gonna learn how to perform with this thing and even how to manipulate everything that's inside. I think we should go ahead and get started because we have a lot to cover. Let's jump right into Boom. Boom's matrix display is a good way of getting a quick idea of what Boom is currently doing. The 10 rows correspond to the 10 instrument channels and the columns are the 16 rhythmic steps of the sequencer. If an LED indicator is dark, there is no trigger. When the LED is red, the corresponding instrument will be triggered for that step. Brighter LEDs mean higher velocity hits. Boom has three different velocity values. Clicking any of the LEDs will change the step status. Each mouse click will circle through the various velocity stages, including the note off status. The pattern display indicates which of the 16 patterns available of each preset is currently active. The copy and clear buttons copy and erase patterns when in pattern selection mode. Each of Boom's 10 instruments has the same set of controls, panning, volume, tuning, decay time, solo and mute buttons, the adjuster, which calibrates the instrument in varying ways, and the sample selector. Each of Boom's 10 instruments has 10 samples to choose from. The global parameters include shuffle for rhythmic swing, the final output volume, and the dynamics control, which controls the differences in volume between the sequencer's three velocity values. Other straightforward sections of Boom are the transport controls, the kit selector, the event bar, and the playback speed switches. The edit mode switch lets you select whether to edit the current pattern or choose between the 16 available patterns in the current preset. Now that we know more about Boom and how to use it, let's check out some of the presets so we can hear those vintage drums in action. <laughs> 